quirky, like kind of weird. She's going to she's going to be game to do like something weird and like that would like totally blow your mind. Like I said, separate her from the other women that you've been with. And you know, they'll they come up with all types of tricks. They might, you know, think that they're, you know, show you like they're not good enough and then all of a sudden leave and you know, it it sets up the next engagement like they want to come back and like prove something to you like they have these amazing minds. Like they have an imagination too. Like I said, they're childlike. So if you're if you're childlike as well, Pisces male, that is going to make you guys click real well. Because um, like I said, a Gemini woman treats her children like her peers. So um, you know, like I said, although it's going to be a motherly trait that is going to like sometimes because her masculine expression is going to be sexual. It's going to override whatever Pisces may have thought about the whole motherly instinct. Okay. Now, keep in mind also that when now these tendencies of Gemini woman to be aggressive comes from her curiosity. So it's going to be more of when the Gemini comes to seek the Pisces man. You understand what I'm talking about? Not so much when the Pisces man goes to seek out the Gemini woman. And this eventually will be expected of the Pisces man. And, you know, Pisces can become real comfortable with the whole come see me thing, right? Now, when it comes, this is where it takes time. This is where gradual growth come, comes in with this relationship or this friendship. Because, like I said, it's going to take some time to bring the animal out of the Pisces man, right? And when this happens, you got a Gemini woman has to be prepared for what's coming, which she will because it's going to be such a playful thing for her that um, it's going to excite her. Right. And because the Pisces man is going to become like a, a wild beast when he goes to seek the Gemini woman. And, you know, Pisces man, since you're listening, perform. Right. And, you know, it's going to be great for Pisces. Pisces is a role player. Pisces will come up with the same type of uh, the same type of keen unpredictability that the Gemini woman brings to the table. All right. Like I've known like like seriously, like a like a Gemini woman really likes to put a, a smile on the Pisces man's face. Like they'll like if they say like you know look I'm showing up tonight, I'll be the woman downstairs ringing the bell at twelve thirty with a black trench coat on with nothing on with nothing on underneath it, and you know Pisces man will like laugh that off like yeah okay you're right right like, and lo and behold it won't be twelve thirty, it'll be one thirty two o'clock in the morning. And sure enough, your, your bell will start ringing and there will be a woman downstairs with a black trench coat on and you're going to have to call her bluff and figure out if there's nothing on under the trench coat. There's nothing on under the trench coat. I'm going to dip away from the whole sexual thing right now, right? Um, and, you know, it's going to be great for Pisces. Pisces is a role player. Pisces will come up with the same type of, um, the same type of keen unpredictability that the Gemini woman brings to the table, all right? Like, I've known, like, like seriously, like a like a Gemini woman really likes to put a, a smile on the Pisces man's face. Like, they'll, like, if they say, like, you know, look, I'm showing up tonight, I'll be the woman downstairs ringing the bell at 12.30 with a black trench coat on with nothing, um, with nothing on underneath it. And, you know, Pisces man, like, laugh that off, like, yeah, okay, you're right, right? Like, and lo and behold, it won't be 12.30. It'll be 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. And sure enough, your, your bell will start ringing and there will be a woman downstairs with a black trench coat on and you're going to have to call her bluff and figure out if there's nothing on under the trench coat. There's nothing on under the trench coat. I'm going to dip away from the whole sexual thing right now, right? Um... All right, like I've known, like, like seriously, like a, like a Gemini woman really likes to put a, a smile on the Pisces man's face. Like they'll, like if they say, like you know, look, I'm showing up tonight. I'll be the woman downstairs ringing the bell at twelve thirty with a black trench coat on with nothing, um, with nothing on underneath it. And you know, Pisces man will like laugh that off. Like yeah, okay, you're right, right. Like, and lo and behold, it won't be twelve thirty. It'll be 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. And sure enough, your, your bell will start ringing and there will be a woman downstairs with a black trench coat on and you're going to have to call her bluff and figure out if there's nothing on under the trench coat. There's nothing on under the trench coat. I'm going to dip away from the whole sexual thing right now, right? Um, 
one of their challenges is being restless. So, you know, Pisces man is going to pick up on this and going to say something out of care and concern for her. It may sound critical. However, it's going to be out of true concern. So um, intuition is one of Pisces powerful traits, psychic ability. So when a Pisces says something seriously to the Gemini woman, it's important that she takes heed to it. Now, she may not act on it. She may not. However, I've been lucky to experience some instances where the Gemini woman has actually listened and it behooved them to listen to me and they've acted on it. And it doesn't matter that you're not together. Pisces man, keep this in mind. Like she will take some good advice from you and you may not be together anymore. It happens. And this is why I said it's better to have a friendship with a Pi with a Gemini woman in uh, like, a, like an on and off thing. Like it doesn't have to be so serious because me personally, right? Like I really, like when, a, because a Gemini woman has the tendency to not be serious all the time, I tend to not take them serious. So when this happens, I look at the Gemini woman on a surface level, despite how intelligent her mind looks, because if I don't get enough of that intelligence to where it's put into something that contributes, see a Pisces likes to merge. So I think the best compatibility or outcome for this friendship is when they merge in something that is productive, possibly a business area. Right, because then it could be continuous. So if you are a clingy type Pisces man or a Pisces man who will miss the behavior of your Gemini woman, then you can come to cope with the terms that she's going to return based on the you know the the merger agreements that you guys have together. You know what I mean? So time spent away is going to be like even that's going to be beautiful time because you're both are going to be like she's going to be. That's when her communication with a whole bunch of other people it, it, it's going to seem like it works because it's going to be now pisces man look out for this a gemini woman can be bossy like she can be she can be a bully to her man like it hasn't happened to me i've been tested however it hasn't that bully effect hasn't happened to me like i've observed it happen to other men and it's like whoa like it's kind of crucial right and it's like like if a Gemini woman suggests something to you, like the power of suggestion is strong. If a Gemini woman suggests something to you, but more in a demanding way, like you need to do this, you should do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it because she's testing you. And the more that she figures out that she can tell you what to do and you do it, she's going to look at you like less of a man. And trust me when I tell you, she may keep you around anyway. Like this is, you know, because it, it works for her. You understand what I'm talking about? However, eventually, and in the back of her mind, she's going to be losing respect for you. It's going to be chipping away inch by inch by inch. She's going to be losing respect for you. And the mouth, like, they can be pretty high strung. Like, they can be pretty high sedity. They come across as better than sometimes. Even when they're not trying to, sometimes I, I truly do believe that they do have this high sense of confidence that becomes arrogance after a while. And that only happens when they are able to talk to a certain amount of people in that type of manner without being checked. So just check the Gemini woman when she does this, all right? She's going to respect it. I'm telling you, she's going to respect it or she's going to reject it. That's it. However, don't let her bully you because I've seen it and it's not, it's not nice. It's not a cool thing to watch, you know? And lastly, I want to say this. They are perfect at the mirror effect and if you like there will be a link flashing across the top of the screen to one of my books and there's actually a character called mirror and in the book she's a gemini so i want you to pay attention to this right it's a trait that they use it's like a trick right that they match the feeling that you're you're feeling they match the mood that you're in so if you're sad they're going to be sad with you like you know, they're going to ride it out with you. Like, I'm sad too. And you're like, Yo, what's wrong with you? Like, like something wrong with you. Like, I feel the same way. Like, that's just how they are. Like, they want to share that moment with you or, you know, they just, they don't want to, they don't want you to be alone in that moment. If you're happy, they're happy. Like, they'll do this. Like, naturally. Like, I don't know if it's on spider web because like I said, the Gemini woman has plenty of tricks. However, this is one of them. And although you may seem like 
like a Pisces may look at that as flaky, right? However, don't. Just look at it for what it is. Because sometimes when it's done, like I'm speaking for myself, when that was done to me, I was like, you know what? Come here. Give me, give me a hug. You know what I'm saying? Whether I was thinking about something too hard or like they picked up on it. And sure enough, here they are. Like, well, you mad, I'm mad. <laughs> like, yo. Like, so in, in, in some type of way, that was like an act of camaraderie. Right. So I appreciated that. So, however, look out for it because I don't know what type of guy you are. You know what I mean? And like I said, Pisces pick up on the flaky stuff or, or you know, something that seems not real. And Geminis have the tendency to get the bad rap for like masquerading as something that, that they're not. When in all actuality, it's just, you know, everybody has a, a uh, another side to them. Like everybody does it. When you're a dual sign, it's just amplified. You know what I mean? And so you get to learn your partner. You get to learn her. You know what I mean? And um, keep this in mind as well. Like, although you may separate, uh, Jim and I will always have you in their mind. You won't even think that that is true because of how they carry themselves. However, it, it will. you will always be in the back of their mind. And if they ever see you again, like, they, they're going to be brought back right back to the moment. And they'll actually, they, some Geminis have the tendency to believe that it's still on, like, you know, it's not a breakup thing. like, And that's unique, I found, because Pisces men can think the same way. Some of us, anyway. I don't know. Like I said, planetary placement has a lot to do with that as well. All right, so that's it for my Gemini woman, uh, Pisces man, friendship compatibility. And, you know, like as I said before, you get in the comment box. This may extend further. It all depends, you know. I'm out.